Hello, Governor. How about a cup of tea then? I sent out a message on Discord to you, like, asking to ask me questions. I felt like doing a Q&A. I see other YouTubers do it all the time, and I was like, it is time. I need to do a Q&A. So I sent out a message, and all of you gave me your most, your most intriguing questions. The questions you've had boiling up inside for all eternity is what these questions are. And the first question is... Why are you gay? I'm not gay. Bro, I'm not gay, okay? I'm not gay. I'm not gay for anyone. You can, you can think I'm gay, but I'm not gay, okay? I'm not gay, I am straight. Okay, there's one. Okay, one, okay, chill. How do you get better at Osu? Well, you click circles. And you click them fast. Hope it helps, buddy. What is your favorite anime? Ooh, I'm currently in the middle of watching Girls Under Panzer. Uh, that's currently what I'm watching. I've actually just finished watching uh, Zombieland Saga, which I actually very much enjoyed. I'm enjoying the second season right now. Episode one was great. Uh, so my favorite animes, I sort of keep a list of favorite animes, I write, instead of just having one. <laughs> so my favorite animes are Violet Evergarden, k Land of the Lustrous, and Little Witch Academia. Uh, those are my current favourites. So that answers that. I'm a weeb, don't worry about it. <laughs> what advice would you give your younger self? Oh, this is a good one. We're going to get real deep here. Uh, I think I would probably tell my younger self, um, go tell your bullies to go f*** themselves because honestly nothing matters and just tell myself to enjoy my school life because i think a lot of people know that i really do regret my high school life i really wish i could have had that sort of you, you know the the good high school life that a lot of people get uh, I, di I didn't get that um so i'd probably just tell them i'd, I'd say young titchy just go tell your bullies to go f themselves okay and because <laughs> your teachers ain't gonna do nothing about it but uh yeah that, that's what i'd say and also you know try the best you can um yeah as well I, i'd like to tell my younger self you know don't see mistakes or failures as like a bad thing because you know they always end up at some point helping with whatever happens next um and i really really do believe that only the best version of i'll only be the best version of me once i overcome it and uh you know having failures and whatnot is the only way to move forwards in life if you don't have failure then you're not going to move forward so that is sort of more advice I'd give my younger self other than just the one but I hope that answers your question did you ever hear of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the White well it's not a story the Jedi would tell you of course it's a Sith legend Darth Plagueis the Wise was a dark lord of the Then an apprentice killed him in his sleep. It's ironic. He could save others from death, but not himself. I have heard of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise, yes. <laughs> Favourite jet plane? Ooh, it's not even a jet. I just like the Spitfire. That's all you need to know. I like the Spitfire and the 737. Those are, those are my two. Mm, I love those two. Favourite rocket? Ooh, that's... I like the Delta IV, Delta V Heavy, the Falcon 9, and the Atlas V. <laughs> so, <laughs> I can never pick one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can never pick one when it comes to these things. It has to be, you know, things like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Favourite movie? Ooh. Uh, it has to be, without a doubt, uh, A Silent Voice. <laughs> That's my favourite movie. Uh, check it out if you haven't watched the English dub. Uh, if, if you're English... Watch the English dub because you'll get you'll get a better experience in it. It's hard to explain and a lot of people scream at me when I tell them to watch the dub, but just for this movie, please watch the dub. But yes, it's a great film and it's my favourite film. Sunrises or sunsets? Uh, I like sunsets because then it goes dark afterwards and it reminds you that you are in a void of absolutely nothingness and that everything means nothing and anything you do is pointless and meaningless. And there's just no hope for humanity and that we're all going to die one day and one day the planet's going to be engulfed by the sun. I like sunset. Do you drink coffee? Nope. Lolly fetish. Yes or no? What's your opinion on commercial space flight? Yes! Will I ever do it? 
No! <laughs> I, I, I love the idea of commercial space flight. Like, going out and looking at the planet, I think, would give people such a better perspective on the world because we only see it on the planet Earth. So a lot of people think, you know, everything matters on planet Earth. But if we went to space and people could pay to go to space and you know, see the world for what it is, you, you know, you sort of get that sense of we are just the globe. Yeah, nothing really matters. But, you know, that's, that's good. I like that idea. So I do like the idea of commercial space flight. Uh, absolutely. But I feel like I feel like it would have to be as safe as like getting on a plane, like super, super safe. Like, <laughs> I mean, you are sitting on like the bottom of an explosion after all, but I'm all for it. Favorite space story? Ooh, it's not really a space story, but more of like a documentary. Um, my favorite like space story story would be Apollo 13, but my favorite, favorite, favorite kind of space story following would be uh, Chris Hatfield's YouTube videos. Uh, Chris Hatfield is a Canadian astronaut, for those who don't know, he's one of my heroes. Uh, and while he was on the space station, he made like these little YouTube vlogs of like things in the space station, like answering questions that people on Earth would, would ask, like uh, how does water react in space? And he'd get like his little, his little bag of water and he'd go this is how it does and like like if you want to throw up in space how do you do that you know how do you brush your teeth in space they have to f swallow the toothpaste by the way just to answer that question but honestly that, that's like my favorite thing because it, it it brought space down to normal people <laughs> you know without having to watch like any nasa streams and i, I, re I really do like chris hatfield and that that's probably my, not only my favorite astronaut but my favorite like space following in story why pp small <sighs> look Guys, I'm trying. I'm trying to make my PP size bigger. I, I'm trying, you know, I'm, I'm trying my best. It just doesn't seem to. It, you know, it fluctuates, goes up and it goes down. I, I don't know what to tell you. I just, I just can't click the circles big enough and I just can't get those player points. So I can't get my PP bigger. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm trying. I'm trying, but I can't. I'm trying so hard and I can't. Do you want chicken? Yes! Hand it over, please. I'm really quite hungry. When is this vid coming out? I don't know. Probably Wednesday. I don't know. I'm recording this on Tuesday. So probably tomorrow. But tomorrow you're watching it today, technically. Yeah. And that's it! Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you for submitting all your questions. I really did enjoy answering all that, even if my answers weren't 10 out of 10. But I really do appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we've got a new song out now. I released a new song. It's called Saws with a Z. You can find it on uh, the Spotify. Uh, come follow me on my Twitch. We do live streams there. I mostly play Osu and music production stuff, but I'd love to have you over there and, you know, you can hang out. It's sick. I really do. I really, really do enjoy interacting with you guys. Uh, it really does make my day. Uh, <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Ta-ra.